Hello ladies and gentlemen, Andrew here of Schwalik SC, and I'm excited to welcome you to my new FIFA 20 series called The Men of Manchester. What has happened is I've done a ton of research and found all of the currently available players on FIFA 20 that are from, actually born, in the Manchester area and built a squad out of them. That's awesome. Very quickly, let's talk about how this series is going to progress. There are gonna be three ways that we can get upgrades. One is by winning the match, two is by having a clean sheet, and three is by getting a hat trick with any player. We can absolutely double dip on upgrades. For example, if we get a win and a clean sheet, that's two upgrades. We can even do all three at the same time and get three upgrades. But those upgrades are going to be up to all of you. So the way that that will work, I will find two players that I'm interested in purchasing from the transfer market and tossing those guys to you and asking which one, which player do you think we should add to our squad. The way that you vote is simply by commenting on the bottom of this video and letting me know which player we should pick and the player with the most votes will be our upgrade. Now to leave a great comment. Of course we'll be playing in Rivals, so that means we'll end up getting some packs as rewards. And the way that will work is after we get some packs, I'll open them up and then I'll toss all the cards in the club. If we get two awesome cards that I'll potentially want to use in the squad, I'll shove them together and then you will get to vote on those two players and determine which one goes into the club by commenting below on that video. And that will be treated just like a regular upgrade. But how does the process of upgrades work? So we will be starting with our regular common bronze and then going up from there, common bronze to rare bronze to common silver, rare silver, common gold, rare gold, and then special cards. But all of our Manchester players have a variety of different levels and card types. So we have some that are bronze, we have some that are silver, and some that are gold. For example, Marcus Rashford is from Manchester, which is pretty cool. And he is a rare gold card. So he is going to be our starter up top, of course. And that means we're going to be able to start upgrading him from where he's currently at, which is rare gold. So a special card will come next after him. Upgrade! Yay! One more final fun piece to this series is that we'll be donating some money to soccer nonprofits here in the US. I'll be commenting two nonprofits below in the video, and then you guys need to comment on which nonprofit you think should get the money coming from this episode. And for every single goal scored in an episode, $1 will be donated to those soccer nonprofits. But again, it's up to you to say which nonprofit gets that money from each episode. Money, 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 money. All right, we've got the whole series figured out, so now let's meet our men from Manchester. Take a quick look at this squad and this crew, we're going to be using a 4-3-3 as our formation. And now getting specific to meet the players. First up, we have Dwight McNeil, who's a left midfielder in real life, but there are actually no wingers from Manchester that currently play, at least on FIFA 20. So McNeil is going to be our left winger for our formation. We have Marcus Rashford up top, absolutely, of course, as I mentioned, pretty cool that he's from Manchester and plays for the correct team that is in Manchester, but absolute stud, excited to play with him. We have Duncan Watmore, who also a right midfielder, but we're going to be using him as our right winger. We have Phil Foden, who is going to be our central attacking midfielder, central midfielder in our formation. We have Danny Drinkwater holding down as one of our central defensive midfielders and George Evans as our other central defensive midfielder. Now going to the back line, we have Ashley Smith-Brown. I'm actually excited to see what he does in his actual playing career because he has been doing some good stuff and he's pretty quick, which is very cool. We have Ben Mee, the regular, of course, as well as Michael Keane. And our right back will be Kieran Trapier. Pretty awesome that he is from Manchester as well. So we have a pretty decent starting squad, but can't forget our guy between the sticks who is Kieran Westwood. He's an interesting guy because you may see that he is actually from Ireland, but his nationality is Irish as well as English. And he was born in Manchester, but then decided because of his parents to go to Ireland and claimed that nationality. And that is why he plays for the Irish national team. Pretty strong starting squad, all from Manchester, which is very cool, but also our subs and bench are also all from Manchester, so let's meet them as well. 
We have Luis Alessandra. He is going to be our other striker that we sub in as needed. Nicky Adams, a right midfielder, but we're going to be using him as a right winger. We have Joe Rothwell. He is a left midfielder, but also going to be using him as a left winger. Ravel Morrison, central attacking midfielder, but I feel like we're going to also use him a bit as our backup striker. Josh Vela, no relation to Carlos Vela over at LAFC in the MLS, but he will be our central midfielder, also central defensive midfielder. David Ball, who will be another kind of central midfielder, central defensive midfielder. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of central defensive midfielders that are from Manchester, so we're going to make the most of what we got. Danny Simpson is a right back. Excited to be able to use him to back up Kieran Trapier. Rob Holding will be our other center back, as well as Phil Jayelka. Now Tosin Adarbayo, a center back, we'll probably use him as a right back, left back as well. But the cool part is he is actually born in Manchester, but also plays for Manchester City. Unfortunately, not the right one, but awesome to see another player like Phil Foden or Rashford that is born in Manchester, but also plays for a Manchester team. Our other guy between the sticks, Joe Coleman. And finally, rounding out the squad is Shea Facey. So our manager is gonna be Roy Hodgson. There are currently no FIFA managers on FIFA 20 that were born in Manchester. However, there are two that have been from Manchester and they are Brian Kidd. Brian Kidd is currently the assistant coach at Manchester City alongside Pep Guardiola, which is pretty cool, but he's just an assistant manager, so he's not on FIFA 20 yet. The other manager is Wilf McGuinness, and he was a former manager for Manchester United, which is pretty awesome, but he's since retired and, of course, is no longer on FIFA 20. Through all of my research of looking for players that were born in Manchester, there were 26 total. We have 23 in our squad overall, but there are still three that unfortunately did not make the cut. One of those is Shea Logan. Shea Logan is a right back for Aberdeen in the Scottish Premiership. Another one is Danny Whitehead. You may have heard of his name because he has been in the Premier League before. He plays midfielder for Macclesfield Town, but he's actually on loan from League Two Club, Salford City. And the final one is Tyrese Campbell. He is an English footballer who plays striker for Stoke City. So those three, unfortunately, did not make the cut because we already have our beautiful squad filled out here and positionally, we didn't really need them. So guys, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are the men from Manchester. We actually have a pretty decent squad. So overall, after all of this, finding the men that are born in Manchester, we have a 74 overall rating with 100 chemistry. I'm excited to play with them, so let's dive into our very first match. And our very first competitor in Rivals, wow, has a very nice squad. Oh, goodness. Good, good save. That is just scary. And yep, that's that's rather unfortunate. That was my bad. I tried to play out from the back. I got cocky. I got cocky. Oh, he was offside. He was offside. This is the best day of my life. Oh goodness. Oh, yes, good save. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a great play. All right, that's fine. Clean sheets off the table. We can still get a hat trick or the win. Oh, how did he sneak that in near post? Westwood, you gotta stop that, dude. Okay, this is also killing me. How does he put it in like that? You're killing me, dog. Holy cow, Jaden Sancho, you gotta stop that. All right, at the half, down 3-0, not an ideal start, but we're still learning, we're building the chemistry, that's all right. I need to play FIFA more, that's fine. It's off the post, it's off the post, get it away, get it away, get it away. Now there is the pass. Get in there, no. Ooh. Good save, Pete. Good save. Well, folks, that is the game. 
That's the game. Uh, we lost 3-0. I think we had maybe one shot total. So that was unfortunate. I thought we were going to do a little better than that, but the boys are still learning. It's all good. I'm not worried yet. We're building up that chemistry. So no upgrades this time, but next time I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like the next episode will be better. But fam, you have met the men from Manchester, the entire squad built out of players that are born in Manchester, and I'm excited to see how many people we can beat with this squad. We're only going to go up from here. I will see all of you lovely people in the next episode. Woo!